about to complete the last step of the best 12 years of your life. Now welcome to the real world, guys and gals. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? College. Can I afford it? Junior college. Can I afford that? Trade school. To study what? Get a job. What job? County stinks. Michigan's in the dumps. Why not just hang out? It just doesn't pay well is all. Pretty depressing. I don't believe all that and I don't want you to either. Yeah. All right? Don't believe it. Each one of you have been prepared by your friends, your parents, your teachers, your mentors to be successful. You're a graduate of Britain High School. You're prepared. The rest is up to you. Thinking back on my life in Ann Arbor before I came here, I was a major screw-up. I didn't do my homework, I played video games all of the time, and I was very disrespectful. Now, I didn't get into anything majorly bad, but school was not on my priorities list. Mom did not get how I could do so well on tests like the meat and just regular tests given out by teachers, and, but do horribly in the class. The teachers would get so frustrated because I would know all the answers in class, but I just did not do my homework. If I were to go back and tell any of my past teachers where I'm standing right now today and why I'm here, they would not believe me. The past five years I've been here have been some of the most fun years of my life. Funner, more funny even than the years I spent doing nothing but playing games. And I didn't do any homework then, and for the past five years, school has been the first thing on my list of priorities. And I've ended up having more fun. It's amazing what you can do when you set your priorities straight. As much as I'd like to say my success has come from just a mental change made by myself, alone, I sadly cannot. I owe a lot to the fun friends, loving family, and supportive teachers here at the school. If I were still in Ann Arbor, I can guarantee I'd be in the middle or even the bottom of the class. I owe all of my success to Britain and my family. My journey at Britain Macon School started at the turn of the millennium 10 years ago. I came in as a third grader and from that day on I had two goals. The first goal was to be up here on the stage giving this speech today and the second goal was to earn a full ride gymnastics scholarship and I have achieved both. Preparing for this day, for this day has not been easy to say the least. It has been full of frustration, very fun and exciting 7 a.m. sessions with Mr. Musoff and Mr. C. Taking algebra one twice, schedule conflicts, uh, having to make up all the history I missed my junior year because of my hectic gymnastics schedule. All of these obstacles could have been two times worse if I didn't have the support of the teaching, administrative staff, and my friends to get me through those really good hair pulling days. But all of these experiences have always ended in a happy memory. The frustration eventually subsided. I earned my A in algebra, became a pro at taking Mr. Musoff's quiz and test, and I found out I'm pretty good at history. Krista <laughs> Rose Clemens. <laughs> Derek John Hedrick Kaplan. As superintendent of the Britain Macon Area School, it is my pleasure to confirm that each member of the graduating class of 2010 receive a diploma this evening, has successfully met the requirements established by the Britain Macon Area School. Graduates, you may move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Thank you.